Our guest in this segment is a registered dietitian, Amy Goodson. She joins us via telephone with 15 years of experience uh, working with Ben Hogan Sports Medicine, the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and uh, many middle, high schools, and endurance athletes, too. And she works with the everyday exercising population to improve health and wellness. Amy, good morning. You're on Eastern Panda. It'll talk with Rob, John, and Matt. Great to have you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You mentioned the uh, Texas Rangers in your do- job description. I'm a Pittsburgh uh, Pirates fan. They just took two of three from my Pirates. So, uh, yeah. so sorry. Yes, I worked for them for six years, actually. So I've done a, a decent amount of baseball nutrition. <laughs> Very nice. Well, let's talk about it here as we get to the Memorial Day weekend. It kind of changes our eating habits once we get into the summer months. What are some things we need to be watching out for in regards to what we're putting in our bodies? Yeah, so we want to start with breakfast because we all know that's the most important meal of the day. And as a registered dietitian, I know that a protein-filled breakfast is really the best way to start the day. But let's face it, on those busy mornings, sometimes it can be a challenge to get enough protein. And that's why I like to start my day with Premier Protein Cereal. So one serving is packed with 20 grams of plant-based protein for great-tasting nutrition that keeps you full. So that's really important on those busy summer days. We want to stay full. And Premier Protein Cereal has two delicious flavors. So they have a mixed berry almond. I want you to think about strawberries, raspberries, some sliced almonds. And then if you're a chocolate fan, they have a chocolate almond cereal. So it's made with real almonds and has plenty of crunchy flakes to help you guys crunch your nutrition goals one bite at a time starting at breakfast. Let me ask you about intermittent fasting. A lot of people seem to do that. And as a necessity of this job, I kind of do it as well. I have dinner in the evening, and then I'm up at 3 o'clock, whatever, in the morning. I get here to do the early morning shift. And by the time it's over at 10 o'clock, that's about the next time I'm going to start to eat something, somewhere between 10 and noon. So that's 16, 18 hours uh, almost, if you do the math uh, on that. Uh, What do uh, people need to be watching out for who are doing intermittent fasting? Yeah, we definitely want you to eat as soon as you can. So typically I recommend eating first thing in the morning. But for you, Rob, like if you're coming off of working in the morning, then getting a protein-filled breakfast is really essential to help stabilize your blood sugar. So this Premier Protein cereal would work for you. So we want people to get some carbohydrate and protein in the morning. And with this cereal having 20 grams of plant-based protein per serving makes it a win. And it's also a simple solution so that you can eat it and then quickly be on your way for the rest of the day. All right. Tell me about Memorial Day weekend cookouts. I'm talking about hamburgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, chicken, steak. Talk to me. All right. I am going to send you another direction and make you think about salmon. So, Rob, we know that most Americans are not getting the recommended two servings of seafood a week. But I'm telling you, Chilean salmon is a win on the grill or in the kitchen because it is a nutrition powerhouse. And it's extraordinarily rich in those important omega-3 fats, vitamin D, and other hard-to-find nutrients. And what's really great is that you can find Chilean salmon year-round, both fresh, and frozen. So in the summer, you can have it for a grill out. and the winter, you can have it to add the dishes in your kitchen. And so one of the dishes that I like doing in the kitchen is adding whatever colorful veggies you have to a sheet pan, add the salmon, pop it in the oven, voila, dinner is served. But if you're grilling out this weekend, put that salmon on the grill and then get some of those delicious squash, zucchini, asparagus, Grill that up for a delicious meal, and you could obviously use your leftovers for lunch the next day. But one of the big bonuses with Chilean salmon is that it is an FDA best choice for pregnant women and children because of its extremely low levels of mercury. So that makes it a win. So I would challenge you to think outside of your typical grilling and add salmon to the grill this Memorial Day weekend. Salmon. All right, Mr. Mr. Gilstrap. Salmon. Um, <laughs> Why are you laughing? You don't like salmon. I'm just thinking where that goes on my cheeseburger. Is it, <laughs> is it between the cheese and the meat? Or um, so why is why is plant based protein? If, if that's the new thing. Protein is protein. So why why must it be plant based? Well, it's really about a blend 
and of all the different food groups. So in a cereal, it would be hard sometimes to get an animal-based protein. So they use pea protein and wheat protein in that cereal. But then we always also want to focus on getting a high-quality protein from some of, uh, some of our animal sources like salmon. That's going to give you all of those essential amino acids. So it's not really about this or that. It's really about this and that and trying to incorporate it with lots of other nutrient-rich foods like fruits and vegetables, whole grains, low-fat dairy, and there's lots of ways that you can do that, whether you're grilling out or in your kitchen. But guys, you can even focus on getting protein and fruits and veggies at snack time. So let me ask you, what is your favorite snack? What is my favorite snack? Um, don't probably say, cheese and crackers. Say, don't say potato chips. She's going to no, kill you. No, no, no. I, actually, I'm not a big <laughs> potato chip guy. Cheese and crackers, he says. Yeah, so I am a cheese and cracker lover myself. But, you know, as we get into these warm summer months, I'm going to tell you, smoothies are a go-to because they're really the perfect convenient snack that you can feel good about enjoying because you can get lots of nutrients into a smoothie. So one of my favorites are the Outshine Smoothie Cubes because each flavor of the smoothie cube is made with real fruit and has zero grams of added sugar. Now, guys, the beauty of this is that these smoothie cubes are blender-free. So it makes it really easy to create nutritious smoothies, whether you're at home, on the go, out at the grill. This would be a perfect beverage to be sipping on. So all you do is add four ounces of the Outshine Smoothie Cubes to a cup. You're going to add six ounces of your favorite fluid. So you could add a water, 100% juice, or you could add a milk to get some protein in there. You're going to let that sit for 15 minutes. Then all you do is shake it up. And just like that, you have this delicious, mess-free option, and there's lots of flavors. So they have a gut supporter smoothie cube, which packs 11 grams of fiber. They have a go-getter, which gives you some B vitamins. And then they also have a glow tube, which gives you vital proteins, collagen, peptides. So lots of delicious flavors. And what we're talking about being outside, whether you're by the pool, you're grilling for Memorial Day or throughout the summer, we want people to stay hydrated with those nutrient-rich options. So Alshine Smoothie Cubes are a win, and you can look for them in the freezer section of your local grocery store. Amy, I think we're out of time uh, for you. Matt Harvey, do you have a quick question for Amy? Is it possible to get all of your, your vitamins and minerals from just from eating alone, or is it do you, need do you have to supplement? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know, your goal is really to eat. There's no real need to supplement if you're eating all of the food groups. So when you think about fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, healthy fats, and then dairy, if you're eating a balanced meal, so trying or balanced meal throughout the day, so trying to get plenty of colors, getting your, you know, your high quality protein as well as your plant based protein, both are good options. Typically, if you are not deficient in anything, which you can always talk to a physician about that, you will be getting the nutrients that you need. And the key is the variety of nutrients. And then when you're eating, you know, smaller, more frequent meals more often throughout the day, it gives you an opportunity to get those in. And, you know, when you think about a smoothie, these have fruits, vegetables, dairy. So just like that, you get three food groups in one little snack. So it's a lot about getting a little more strategic with your meals and snacks and trying to make them as nutrient-rich as possible. Amy, where can we go to find out more of the things you've talked about today? You can visit amygoodsonrv.com. Thanks so much. Appreciate your time this morning. Thanks, guys. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. You too. You too. Amy Goodson at 831.